Yeah, I'm talking to you from my secret lair. All right, I'm here to take over the world. All right, and I also got a brand new phone, uh, iPhone app that allows me to talk to you simultaneously in your native languages. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> yeah, what I've done is I'm going to take over the world, so I've harnessed all the evil into one super group that I call the Council of Evil. <laughs> yes, and I've done this with my wonderful partner in crime, the very beautiful, yet very evil, Frau Barbissina. <laughs>
Canadian warriors are no match for my fembots. <laughs> Please, your, your evil business gets in the way of your dictatorship. You're right. I'm sorry. We shouldn't fight like this. What do you say? <laughs> but on second thought, maybe the world would like to see your Amazonian soldiers fight my fembots. This is the second city this week with anchor George Kaliotis. Special guest Mindy Sterling. Tonight's episode sponsored by Potassium Iodide Group. President Obama this week for imposing the no-fly zone over Libya, saying the cost will increase the deficit. When asked where the cost objections were for Iraq and Afghanistan, Republicans thought for a moment before yelling, look over there, and then running away. <laughs> In an obvious attempt to gain favor with the Republican base, Newt Gingrich, who spent weeks criticizing the president for not imposing a no-fly zone, reversed his position, saying he's against the no-fly zone. Gingrich then divorced his trophy wife and remarried the wife he divorced when she was dying of cancer. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> President Obama returned to the White House from Latin America to find himself locked out of the Oval Office. <laughs> the story broke when Republican House Leader Eric Cantor called police to report a strange black man trying to <laughs> 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 James O'Keefe, the conservative provocateur who recently released a controversial anti-NPR video, sent a letter to his supporters requesting money to pay off his bills and fund future projects. Hmm, sounds like a pledge drive. <laughs> Bengals wide receiver Chad Ochocinco started a four-day trial with the Kansas City Major League Soccer team on Wednesday. As the NFL lockout continues, Fans everywhere are asking themselves, could this be the year that football wasn't? Nancy, did we change cable providers? No, Jim, why are you asking? I can't find a football game. Look, <laughs> football? I know you took a business trip to Europe, but come on. Soccer is on 42. There's your football, Mr. Will Jefferson. I want to watch football, American football. You know, the NFL? NFL. Never heard of it. We <laughs> submitted for your approval. <laughs> <laughs> A world without football. <laughs> Where bored Americans spend their Sundays with their families. Where Monday nights are spent at the Buffalo Wild Wings watching How I Met Your Mother on the big screen. You're entering a world of shadow and substance, of form and idea. You've just stepped into the lockout zone. The National Football League? Yeah, uh, you can say it louder. I still can't understand you. <laughs> Coming! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, hey, Brett! How Come you on doing? in! Nancy! Yeah, what's going on? I'll get you guys a couple cold ones. Oh, great. Brett Barb? How you doing, buddy? Long time no. <laughs> We're friends? We're best friends ever since Green Bay. Come on. Oh, well, so, so you were you were a Green Bay Packer? Nancy? Nancy Brett was a Green Bay Packer. I know. This guy over here. I mean, I remember when I fell under that conveyor belt, and you saved my life by throwing that chair oh. in that shredder. <laughs> Other than that, being a meat packer in Green Bay was pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, the options were great. Can I be honest with you, though? Yeah. I mean, being a meat packer in Minnesota and New York was not okay. I was trying to <laughs> pass on my knowledge, but no one was keen on receiving it. You understand what I'm saying? It's right. The game is on. Oh, I love soccer. I hope it ends in a tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you hear? I just got a new cell phone. It has a camera in it. Crazy, right? <laughs> I was thinking, can you give me Nancy's phone number? I gotta send something to her. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Mr. Farr. How you doing? You must be Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Oh, come on in. Honey, just don't sit there. Some tangle to your 
daughter, Dave? Hello, sir. I'm Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> you were a New York giant. Well, I lived in New York, and I'm a large person, but giants are much larger. <laughs> oh, they didn't score! Yeah! <laughs> Sir, might I just say that you have a very beautiful 16-year-old daughter. Oh. Actually, I'm 19. Whatever you say. Okay. <laughs> you played defense, and you were a quarterback. I mean, surely you tackled him at some point, right? Tackle? He's talking about fishing. We're watching a soccer game. Okay, okay. I know, I know. Oh, I know. I love the way they run continuously for no reason. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay, okay. This, this is my football from high school. Surely, surely the two of you know what to do with this. Of course they do. I like how you get the bat. All right, <laughs> game seven of the World Series. Oh, 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 Baseball and the pennant race is really heating up. 